I first need to say thank you, President Kraft, for that wonderful introduction, and also thank you to Vice President Mondale for the incredible message he gave us about the mission of Concordia. And I hope that I can piggyback on that a little bit as I get into my speech. I first need to say that it's an honor to be able to stand up here and represent such an incredible graduating class of Cobbers in the class of 2015. So I better get started because President Kraft told me I only have about 25, 30 minutes for this slotted. Was that, was that right? If I bump up to an hour, someone should start to let me know. So everyone buckle in, we have a lot to cover. <laughs> but in all seriousness, when I was asked to speak at commencement, I had no idea what direction I was gonna take this in. How do you sum up such a great four years in, in one short speech? I figured there's no better place to start than the beginning. So here we are, all coming onto campus, as young little freshmen, scared, nervous and anxious to start battling the piles of homework, assignments, exams, can't forget group projects. <laughs> All while there's the threat that if you're ever caught cheating or plagiarizing, it's, kind of, it's like the end of your life. That's it. <laughs> In those first few weeks, we didn't hear anything more than this phrase, brew. <laughs> brew this, brew that. No, not brewing on the weekends, putting in hours at the office, <laughs> but becoming responsibly engaged in, in, what was it? In the world. I don't think many of us really understood the magnitude of this phrase as freshmen. We may have just kind of brushed it off thinking, it's the college's mission, they have to say this when we come in. But as we began progressing through the years, I quickly realized that the hype around Brew was real. No matter where you were on campus, in class, in an athletic team, an ensemble, or any other sort of extracurricular, there were always opportunities to become more involved. Professors, coaches, ensemble directors, and advisors are, were always pushing us to take our education beyond the classroom here and out into the community. This is when I started to realize that we didn't come to Concordia to graduate and get our name on a slip of paper. We came here to graduate as educated, thoughtful, and informed individuals who are persistently present and active in whatever it is we choose to do. And to be persistently present does not mean to just show up. It does not mean to show up and put in the minimum amount of work so that you can just slide by. To be persistently present means to come, to be active, to show your skills and your experiences that you've learned here at Concordia and use your strengths to add to whatever group or team or job it is that you're a part of so that you can accomplish those goals that you've set forward. So I look out here into the crowd now and I see not those scared students that came onto campus when we were freshmen, but I see professional human beings who are ready to go out there and will make a difference in their careers, in their community, and effectively in our world. We will make decisions that reach beyond us as individuals. The beauty of it is we're not the first and by no means will be the last but we're gonna add a strong link to an already impressive chain of graduated alumni who are out there doing incredible things. So just promise me this one thing, that when you leave here today, you will not take our duty to uphold this impressive lineage lightly. Now next, to my family, to my mom and dad, David, Alex, Ange, Megan, Gino, even little Jasper, and to all of our families. Thank you guys for joining this Concordia community with us over the past four years. Thank you for holding our hands when it was necessary. Thank you for letting us run when our legs told us to. 
but also helping us pump the brakes when we got a little out of control. All while showering us with a love that sees no end. Thank you to the faculty, the staff, the administration, and everyone else involved at this incredible institution for teaching us how to take this education and apply it out in the real world. And finally, thank you to my classmates, my Cobber brothers and sisters. I'm being serious when I say that every single one of you has impacted the person that I have become and the difference that I want to make when I live here, or we leave here. <laughs> Maybe I'll live here. <laughs> I'm so incredibly grateful that I had all of you on this journey with me. I can only hope that I had a sliver of an impact on a few of you. So to conclude, I want to send you all out, well, send us out, with a song that my choir sang at its year-end concerts. So here's to the class of 2015, Irish Blessing. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face. The rain falls soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, until we meet again, may God, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. Amen. Amen. Thank you all. I love you all. Go forth and brew.